Okay, we're going to make a quick little video about this military trunk. It's about 20 and a half inches wide, 16 inches deep, and 15 inches tall. It has leather handles on each side, appear to be in good condition. Also on each side there are big buckles that hold the front door closed. We're going to open these. Unfortunately I do not have the key for the front lock, but it is, it is in the position that if you close it, it's not going to accidentally lock on you. I don't think it'd be that hard for a locksmith to build a keyboard, but I do not have a key for this. When we open it up, you'll notice that I do have the keys for this particular drawer. They do work. We open it up. The ink pots are inside. When we pull this unit out, you can see that you can remove this. There's also another drawer inside. Shelf, rather. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. This pulls out. The ink pots, they rest in this drawer. I'm going to slide that back in for the moment. If we put the key in and rotate it, you can see that it does operate. And it securely locks in there. Oh, a key little fell out, but you get the idea. This opens and closes. This opens and closes. So does this drawer as well. And that's what the way this case looks. I think you'll really like it. The label on the outside is kind of hard for me to to get a good detailed up close look of it. It says Texas uh, Trunk Company Tint Spec Co. And then it's marked 271043. There's other numbers on there. That's the side. That's the top. This is the back. Whereas the inside is what I would call really kind of perfect and mint. The outside, it may be kind of hard to tell. There's there's obviously some scratches and some different coloration like this looks almost like a like a dark maybe even glossy olive drab whereas this is a flat up here it appears there used to be some type of sticker or some type of adhesive up here along the edge maybe there was some type of shipping label some paint here that's kind of scratched off, but then there's paint underneath. It's old. It looks nice. It reminds me of something you might see Ernie Pyle with going on shore out in the Pacific. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to close it so we can look at the bottom side. Also here on the front, this appears to be some type of duct tape. I was always very hesitant to want to try and remove anything there because I wouldn't want to ruin the finish underneath, but maybe that's something, that adhesive residue that can be removed. And then there's the bottom. Any questions, please email me. Check out my feedback. You can tell that I'm 
a pretty good seller that likes to try to describe things as accurately as possible. And uh, give me a shout. Happy bidding and good luck.